Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Warner Brothers Pictures has set Christopher Nolan's 2008 superhero sequel The Dark Knight for a re-release in four select IMAX theaters to celebrate the film's 10th anniversary, Variety has learned. Venues in Los Angeles, New York, San Francisco, and Toronto will host the film for a limited one-week engagement beginning Friday, August 24. Nolan and Oscar-winning cinematographer Wally Pfister pioneered the use of IMAX 70mm photography in feature filmmaking on the production, marking The Dark Knight as the first major feature to utilize IMAX cameras. Nolan had previously tested the possibilities of the format's massive scale and increased resolution with an IMAX digital remastering of Batman Begins. In the years since, movies such as Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen, Mission, Impossible, Ghost Protocol, Star Trek Into Darkness and Star Wars, The Force Awakens have followed suit, not to mention Nolan's own The Dark Knight Rises, Interstellar and Dunkirk. Damien Chazelle's First Man and Patty Jenkins' Wonder Woman 1984 are among upcoming releases continuing in their wake. Tickets for opening day of the Dark Knight IMAX re-release go on sale this Friday, July 20 for the following venues, AMC Universal City Walk IMAX, Universal City AMC Lincoln Square IMAX, New York AMC Metrion IMAX, San Francisco Ontario Play Cinesphere IMAX, Toronto released July 18, 2008. The Dark Knight became, at the time, just the fourth film to ever cross the $1 billion mark at the worldwide box office. It scored north of $533 million stateside and still sits in the all-time domestic top 10. The film was nominated for eight Academy Awards and won two, including a posthumous supporting actor Oscar for Heath Ledger's memorable performance as the Joker, 